Good evening from San Francisco, California, where it's actually 11 in the morning. But that's the beauty of our digital life that we're all living in 2020. We can just pretend. We've all become masters of uh, digital ceremonies. However, this one is a ceremony for real, with real people connected from five different continents. Here we are, for real, at the Mind and Bridge Innovation Center in San Francisco. There is no pretended background, but it's actually a real uh, world and a real um, stage. There is no better place to celebrate the most successful corporates in open innovation practices than at an innovation center, and in particular if it's ours. At Mandelbridge, we've been working at the intersection of the most innovative startups and corporates since 2007, and we couldn't be more humble to host such a global celebration of the best in class. Let's cross the first digital bridge and move to Europe. Alberto, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, Marco. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to Europe. And actually, in Europe, everything started at the early days of our collaboration with the European Commission uh, during the Startup Europe Partnership Initiative, we have been asked to identify the role models uh, in startup corporate collaboration. And we have done this for four years. And this year, we decided to make one step further and to, to move to global, also thanks to the partnership of International Chambers of Commerce. But to understand what is this all about, uh, let me launch this video. We were supposed to be in beautiful Paris tonight, also because the corporate startup stars has turned global, and thanks to our partnership with the International Chamber of Commerce. And from Paris, for real, we have John Denton, the Secretary General of the International Chamber of Commerce. Hey, hey guys, how are you? You're looking great. We're very dressed up for 11.30 a.m. in the morning in San Francisco. Uh, first of all, thanks to Alberto and thanks to Marco. Uh, from our point of view, working with uh, Mind the Bridge is a wonderful opportunity for ICC. For us, it's a turning point. We are, as many of you would know, the institutional representative of more than 45 million businesses worldwide in the North and the South, developing, developing countries. And what we're committed to with Mind the Bridge is now seeking to develop the next level of entrepreneurs, which is so exciting for us today. We want these next levels of entrepreneurs to be the next generation of business people, and we want them to find their home with the ICC as they look for their new opportunities in the world. I'd like to thank in particular Candace Johnson, uh, an ICC executive board member, who created this opportunity for ICC to work at the intersection of large companies and startups. Thank you very much, uh, Candace, for your support and your vision. And with our global headquarters in Paris, one of the startup capitals of the world, actually, we want to be a champion of open innovation and bring the concept through our centers of entrepreneurship, which we've recently started, one in Lebanon, uh, most recently another in, uh, in Turkey. And we'll be launching three more in the next quarter in Africa, and then two more in, in Latin America next year. But we wanna take innovation into the hearts of these centers of entrepreneurship and give entrepreneurs in the developing world a chance to participate in this kind of award ceremony as well. But now we will hear from Cedric O, the current Secretary of State of the Digital Transition for President Macron, who will share a few remarks with us. Good evening, everyone. I'm really happy to have the opportunity to take the floor in front of you today and to open that uh, Corporate Startup Stars Award today. I want to thank especially John Denton for inviting me uh, today. There are a few uh, ideas that I want to, to share with you. The first one is about innovation and startups. What we are seeing, what we are seeing as underlying trends going on, is the complete transformation of the economical landscape. This is why in France, we are investing so much in our startups ecosystem in order to foster innovation and to foster the emergence of new champions. 
we have been taking a lot of pain in order to develop uh, that ecosystem. We have been uh, undertaking a lot of reforms. We are pushing stronger on some key critical technologies such as quantum computing, AI, cyber security, and so on and so on. But there is another thing which is to some extent a little bit uh, more complex that we have to uh, be able to achieve. This is the transformation of the legacy economy. And this is especially true in France and in Europe, where the weights of our big corporates is really heavy, and they are part of our uh, economical network. The, their weight, their power, their influence, the number of employees that they uh, have is really important. If we want to be able to transform an economy, we have to be able to push stronger on the startup uh, economy, but we have to be able to transform the legacy economy. This is why this is so important that uh, the new economy and the legacy economy are able to work together in order to transform for the legacy economy and in order to gain pace and to gain market for the uh, startups. This is why I think we have to lay the emphasis on the example of success in the collaboration and the cooperation between the big corporates and the startups. And that's why I'm really happy to uh, be here with you today. And I have to stress the fact that if the legacy economy, if the big corporate, especially the big French corporate, have and wants to success in the transformation, in their digital transformation, they have to rely on their internal transformation, but also in acquiring, in working, in purchasing uh, with, the, with the, the startups. And this is why I'm really happy to have uh, the opportunity today to stress the fact that we need more cooperation, we need more collaboration, and we, and we need this cooperation to go uh, further. So have a nice evening, everybody. I'm really happy also to announce the fact that next year, France will welcome the 2021 uh, Corporate Startup Stars Award, which is very important for us because as you understood, transforming our big corporate is one of the, our key challenges. Have a nice evening. I was really happy to uh, be with you today and uh, take care. Thanks, John, for, for all of this. And indeed, uh, we are really need more corporate startup collaboration. And we need also to identify role models. And in this uh, hunting effort of the corporate that are the trailblazer of the world level, we are not alone, Mind the Bridge and ICC, and we can uh, rely on a phenomenal judging committee that is led by Candace Johnson. Candace. You there? Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, world. And hello, startups and corporations. It's so great to be with all of you. And John, thank you so much for your kind words. Indeed, we have a global jury that really represents excellence and diversity. But I have to say, to be honest, we started first with excellence because we wanted to get the very best people who are known throughout the world for supporting open innovation and technology transfer. And it just happened that when we did that, we had an amazingly diverse uh, um, judging uh, uh, panel. So, you know, first starting with uh, uh, Bindi Karia. So she is um, from Atenian and Indian background, and she is former vice president of Silicon uh, Valley Bank um, and working in, in the UK. That's just, you know, uh, Bindi. And then we have Mariam Diop. Mariam, she is from Dakar. She studied at the uh, French school in Saudi Arabia, and she is representing Orange Digital Ventures and has been named by Barack Obama as one of the young Africans. Um, then going from her, we go to Linda Smith, a dear friend and colleague of mine who uh, has been the president of the Angel Capital Association of America um, and is now the president of the Global Business Angel Network. For me, as the president emeritus of EBON, it's very important to have angels in the mix. Um, and then we're just so happy, you know, to have been able to meet uh, Fernando Spinoia uh, from Brazil. He's a Brazilian VC uh, focusing on growth. They're now doing their third fund. They're just absolutely amazing. And the first time that I ever heard about tech transfer was from Dr. Tim Tong, who is a 
absolute world-class expert in tech transfer, in technology transfer, i.e. Tra transferring knowledge from universities to uh, the market. And then, of course, it made sense to bring the open innovation to the, um, uh, to the um, corporations from the startups. And of course, you know, where would we be without our wonderful Alberto from Italy, uh, who also indeed uh, started the Startup Europe Partnership and the global uh, and the and this and the corporate startup stars. So I'm just so happy and really looking forward to all of these amazing winners tonight. Thank you. Time to go back to business. Open innovation is a concept that has become a buzzword. It is difficult to uh, be boxed in a single definition. So we decided to ask some heads of innovation of some of the larger corporates that participate in corporate startup stars to help us encapsulate the full meaning of open innovation. Here is what I had to say. Building something new together with a shared purpose is about corporations working with third party to develop new value proposition for our customers. Competitiveness or long-term survival. I would say capturing innovative and disruptive ideas from internal and external sources. Breaking through business boundaries and strengthening the integration of content, technology and applications. Motto for our company is invented for life. And based on this motto, you can see how important the term and the notion of innovation is for our company. Open innovation is a collaboration across many organizations around the world to create new value. It's a sharing process, simultaneously inside out and outside in, involving challenges, solutions, always with a strategic business purpose. It is a mechanism through which a corporation can collaborate with other agents, especially startups, is fresh air. An open window to look at the world and catch the best. Collaboration um, with uh, startups, entrepreneurs, and uh, great thinkers to deliver great value for the company. Creating values in new ways that are made possible with collective wisdom and humility. To hire intelligence from outside of the company. It's about creating a successful ecosystem and being a value-added party to that. Open innovation is the best way to generate new ideas and collaborate with the ecosystem. It's a win-win between startups and corporates. It's a systematic interaction with the ecosystem of technology, innovation and entrepreneurship for the sustainability of our businesses. Innovation is core to our DNA. It means when two or more parties come together uh, to create a product or a vision that is greater than any one organization could achieve on its own. I define open innovation as a collaborative tool to go farther. Open innovation for us is being really open as a corporate for smaller companies that have, let's say, different working methods and proactively work together with them in our innovation efforts. For me, open innovation is outside-in thinking collaboration, and win-win outcomes. Is operate outside of your comfort zone and explore beyond the limits. Having the humility to work together, corporate, startups, and academia. Open innovation means stepping into collective intelligence, stepping out of our comfort zone, and accelerating the power of innovation by multiplying the available resources. It's about bringing the inside out and the outside in. So together with our partners, we can solve some of the most complex challenges in healthcare. For us, open innovation is creating a win-win-win situation. A win for our customers, a win for startups, and a win for SAP. Well, it's combining our and somebody else's technology to create new ideas and customer value. Collaborate with the partners uh, to innovate faster and maximize impact. We like to think of open innovation as an open API to connect Telefonica with entrepreneurs and startups. Open innovation is all about bringing the art of the possible, the most disruptive technology from outside and embracing it internally to deliver real benefit to customers and to society. It's creating an ecosystem approach to innovation, ideation, execution and value creation. Collaborate to innovate.
to ensure that you are always relevant to our customers. Innovating together with customers, employees, and startups, amongst many other stakeholders, to create something really big and awesome. Innovation is for us a way to develop uh, long-lasting, uh, sustainable solutions, uh, not only for us and for our business, but also for uh, the society in general. Getting out of your lab, getting out of your silo, it's co-creation, collaboration with startups, with clients, with suppliers, what have you. As you see, open innovation is very difficult to be boxed as a concept. That's why we asked uh, the head of innovation of uh, some of the largest corporate uh, participating in corporate startups us to help us to, to grasp it, to define it. And by the way, open innovation is not even uh, a one-way road. It's quite a multifaceted uh, situation phenomena. And we use a framework to try to capture the various modes that open innovation can be achieved. And as you can see, it's an evolving framework. We adjust it, uh, let's say, every six months, one year. And consistently, also, the Corporate Startup Stars Awards uh, do follow this, this evolution. And so we have different categories that uh, we use to categorize open innovation, and we will use tonight to award the most interesting companies. Let's start from the first concept, that is the one that of uh, startup accelerators, startup corporate accelerators. Corporate accelerators are probably being one of the most ancient tools that corporations introduced at the beginning of the open innovation times uh, to work with startups. And corporate accelerators in 2020 are a very, very different animal than way they were 10 years ago, but also just two, three years ago. Corporate Startup Star 2020 recognized three corporates that have significantly evolved their formula over time. And at the same time, have yielded significant results and success stories. And here are the top three companies that got the 2020 Corporate Startup Accelerators Awards. But uh, new ways of uh, working with early stage ideas and projects are also emerging. That's why this year we introduced three new awards to single out these new emerging approaches. These new approaches will become part of the Structured Corporate Startup Stars uh, award methodology starting next year. And our research shows that corporates are deploying uh, venture builders to work with more hands on on a few selected startup projects. Multiple interesting models are emerging uh, nowadays, and particularly we identify one company that deserves the 2020 Venture Builder Award. Let's look at what is that. So congratulations to BP Launchpad for his uh, Venture Builder concept. And now it's time to move uh, to a new category that uh, refers to a concept that is the concept of employee-led innovation. That is becoming more and more a source of innovation. Uh, entrepreneurship has evolved uh, from uh, HR initiatives with mainly cultural goals into platform to source and select the new important ideas. And this year, we single out one company that deserves the 2020 Entrepreneurship Program Award. Let's see what is that. Beyond uh, entrepreneurship, there is uh, another concept that is uh, re-getting attraction. That is the concept of internal innovation. It must sound a bit weird that in the Grammy's night of open innovation, we look back and we look back at the internal innovation. But actually, this is telling that nowadays there are very, very blurring boundaries inside open innovation. And the great news is that uh, the most interesting experiences in these areas are not coming from the usual suspects, but rather are coming from companies from emerging ecosystems. And here they are, the 2020 Internal Innovation Award winners.
Talking about innovation, it's Silicon Valley. There are not only Fortune 500 company or Forbes 2000 companies. And so uh, we wanted to recognize uh, also innovation coming from uh, smaller companies. That's the reason we introduced an award that is focused on them. And here are the 2020 Midcap Startup Stars. And tonight we have with us uh, the three Midcap uh, Startup Stars. And I have the pleasure to, to call on this virtual stage, Sadiq Mohamed, Deputy Group CEO of Asset and Resource Management, Nigeria. Hi, Sadiq. Oscar Hi. Rodriguez, VP of Innovation at David Yenda. From... Hi, good evening to everyone. Hey, Oscar. And uh, Diren Chatland. Chief Investment Officer at GoHub Global Omnium. Hi, I will everyone. Leave, uh, hi. I will leave it to Candace to drive this discussion. Hi, Candace. Uh, well, you know, all I can say is these mid-cap stars are going to be all in the FTSE in the Fortune 500 very soon because they're doing such great work in innovation. And sadly, you know, the first time that I heard about ARM uh, yeah. was in London, and I was literally in a waiting line, and this Nigerian gentleman was telling me about his alternate energy company. I said, whoa, you know, how did you get that funded? And he said, "Ah, oh, this is the first time I ever heard of it. So <laughs> it's amazing. And then, of course, I got to uh, know your company. But can you just tell us a little bit about what ARM is doing, not only in Nigeria, but throughout all of Africa for open innovation? Okay, uh, good evening, Candice. Good evening, everyone. Um, I think uh, generally um, innovation has come to stay in Africa and is taking hold um, and solving uh, problems in so many ways uh, and also to some extent providing employment for the team in, team in youth um, as well as in, in a sense leapfrogging the usual development uh, cycle, if you like. Um, uh, rather than follow a, a pattern, you just leapfrog and, and get to the to the next level. And at ARM, uh, we've been uh, trying to contribute our own quota um, in that respect, uh, both from internal innovation schemes uh, to external collaborations. Because clearly, uh, in the last four, four or five years, we realized that we can't do it by ourselves, and we also had to embrace uh, innovation because that's the only way to go. Um, and also be uh, build a sustainable business, and in the process, uh, hopefully, also make make an impact. Um, so we've we, we've uh, um, over time evolved um, several uh, innovative schemes, um, both from an internal perspective uh, as well as the external. Uh, uh, let me just mention one or two. Uh, large by ARM, which is uh, a basically uh, an accelerator program where we define. Um, a challenge and then we take it out and we go through um, uh, a long process of uh, trying to solve that challenge um, and in the process uh, find solutions to those problems uh, be it um, whether it's related to our business or otherwise uh, and uh, that way we, we're also making an impact on those startups to be, to be uh, part of that ecosystem and eventually uh, uh, contribute their own uh, quota. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. And, yeah, so, and I would like to thank, um, thank um, <laughs> We can thank listen you. all day, but we yeah. must go next to our next yeah. continent, uh, okay, Latin thank America. You. But thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Sadiq Wahad. And uh, we must now go to Latin America. And uh, Oscar, uh, I jokingly asked you if we had you on the, uh, on the program tonight because you're named Oscar, and these are the Oscars for the corporate startup stars. <laughs> but no, you are representing really uh, an amazing bank um, from Colombia. And can you tell us in just two minutes how you are supporting open innovation uh, in 
Colombia, but then also in those countries around you. Okay, thank you, Gandans. Definitely, uh, Oscars is a synonym of awards. So, I'm, uh, we are so happy to, uh, to receive the recognize because we think the open innovation is the best way in order to generate new ideas, knowledge, but at the end, the best experience for our customers. So we have, a, a, we are working with different hubs in the world, a, mainly in Silicon Valley, but also with Israel. And with the bank, we are working with different a, a teams of young people in order to, a, to a, find a, different solutions in order to improve our offer value. So definitely uh, we think the open innovation in this time is the best way in order to, to have the best experience for our customers. So we are happy to, to, to stay here and receive this recognized for our bank and our uh, group. <laughs> You know, one of the most beautiful things about these Corporate Startup Stars Awards is the discovery that we make of these amazing companies throughout the world, not in Silicon Valley, but throughout the world. And so we, we've had Africa, we've had Latin America, and now we will go to back to Europe where I am and uh, to hear uh, about GoHub and uh, Global Omnium uh having to do with one of the most important resources if not the most important resource uh on our planet and for our lives uh, water water management so delighted to have you uh thank you so much for being with us thank you Candace, and thank you for the prize uh it's a pleasure to receive this in the name of global omnium and go hub so we are a company that's spent over a hundred years focusing on building innovation centered in, as you mentioned, what is the world's most uh, important resource, right? And we focus a lot on combining corporates, startups, and academia in one single place, right? To improve uh, efficiency and uh, try to offer our, in our innovative solutions worldwide. So we're present in over 400 cities globally, and that's also given us a chance to learn uh, how people consume and uh, or let's try to change behaviors, right? So it's great to see that our investment in innovation for the past decades is being noticed, and above all, is helping us build a solid company culture and uh, help these small to large businesses grow. Um, it is important to help mid-sized companies uh, grow and have these companies later build a stronger ecosystem, right? They're the fertilizer of entrepreneurship. So uh, thank you very much. So Veolia, watch out. <laughs> so congratulations to all three of you. It's so great to get to know you and your companies a little bit through the Corporate Startup Stars Awards. And back to Alberto and Marco. Thank you. Thank you, Candace. And again, it's been very exciting to, to see these, uh, these realities that are bringing innovation from very unusual uh, places. But now it's time uh, to go back to our framework and because open innovation is mostly about uh, startup and corporate collaboration and uh, the typical way that open innovation uh, turns into action is what is called uh, the so-called venture client model. And the venture client model means the corporates are becoming uh, clients of startups by procuring from them uh, products and services and give them a scale and market assess. And we identified three companies that we believe are benchmarks at world level in what is called the venture client model. And let's look at what they are. All right, let's see if my communication is back to normal. The beauty of a live streaming, uh, the Murphy's Law is always uh, 
working. Um, next, uh, we're going to talk about a different way of uh, involving startups uh, in, the, in the world of uh, corporates this time is through equity investment, whether that's through the corporate venture capital or through off-balance uh, investment that corporates are doing. Here are the 2020 Startup Investment Award winners. And eventually, collaboration might turn into a proper wedding. And when uh, the strategic alignment between corporate and startup is pretty high, corporates might decide to pull the so-called M&A trigger. And uh, this is good, by the way, for, for startup ecosystems, uh, since acquisition means exits. And as we used to say, no exit, no party for nobody. And uh, here are the 2020 Startup Acquisition Award winners. All right, I think we're done with all the category awards. And uh, now it's time to unveil the name of the top 50 companies that we recognize this year as stars. Let's start on what we call the 25 open innovation challengers. So the upcoming stars. Those are great companies, very innovative and startup friendly. And here they are in alphabetical order, right on. All right, congratulations to the 2020 challengers. Collaboration between corporates and startups, if done right, can bring tremendous benefits to both. Startups can access invaluable resources and market insights, which can help them scale. While for established companies, such collaboration offers an important mode of innovation, as well as a subtler benefits like cultural change. However, it is often hard to get it right. We ask our corporate startup stars to tell us how startups can contribute to their innovation. And here's what I said. The startups are very important because they can create new ways of thinking, new approaches, and can be a source of innovation. So they help us to bring in new perspectives. The capacity to uh, fastly scale up their technologies. Spirit of asking why not rather than why. A fresh perspective of technologies, of ways of doing business, things we haven't thought of before. Agility, deep tech and new business models. Startups can bring a window into the future. It takes courage to admit that an external technology might be either good enough or even better than what we've done in-house. By working together we can use our scale and expertise 
and helping drive adoption of these new solutions by health systems around the world. I would say business and savings, but also cultural change. Startups provide opportunities for immediate differentiation in the market and creation of new revenue opportunities for the company. Simplicity, a digital experience, gaining experience in responsibly working with data and an agile, innovative culture. Access to innovation, new industry verticals. The biggest contribution is to improve automation of process. They help us assess how our strategy needs to evolve and we invest in and partner with them so that together we can build solutions that return value. There's so many bright people with so many great ideas. Innovation, new ideas, agility. Startups can provide our customers with additional innovation that complements their investment into SAP solutions. I think innovative idea is the most important contribution that startups make to us. Knowledge, agility, and the most important, better experience for our customers. And most of all, making impact by really cooperating on a sustainable way with startups and scale-ups. The biggest contribution is to work with us to shape the future of commerce and to enable the next billion people to access the digital economy. They are uh, much closer to disruptions and uh, they act as eye-openers for, for corporations like us. I think the startups push us to uh, go faster. The contribution basically is diversity, mindset, speed. Startups can bring new emerging technologies and innovative ideas to the corporations. Talent, agility, and hunger to get the things done quickly. What we learn is that there is always a simple way to do complex things. Agility and out-of-the-box thinking. Expertise that we don't have internally, and speed. We learn from agile, experimental, and adaptive essence of startups. On the other side, we invest and contribute to their solution. They, they typically can, with us, customize uh, uh, their products to real industrial use cases. Disruptive mindset, uh, new, new vision, new way of thinking, and uh, quick leverage uh, towards a selected target and dedicated goal. They can push us forward in improving and challenging our solutions and products in order to increase the benefits of our clients. A new mindset for facing challenges and opportunities. Passion and pace, determination and disruption. Definitely a lot of learnings and not a walk in the park. But again, we like uh, complicated challenges. And by the way, Marco, when you are shooting for the moon, the thing that might happen that you can catch a star. And by the way, we have uh, 25 corporate startup stars uh, here for you. This is probably the, one of the most awaited uh, part of this award ceremony. And now we are going to see what are the 2020 corporate startup stars in alphabetical order. Congratulations to the 25 uh, corporate startup stars. And now it's definitely time to unveil uh, the top three. And this is you to say, 
for the 2020 Corporate Startup Stars. The winners are Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have with us today, and also, also tonight, uh, Steve Cook from BP, Philip Rose from uh, Robert Bosch Venture Capital, Hello. and Emil from Mastercard. Congratulations again. Thank you, Alberto. So, Thank you. Now it's time to, to share the secrets for turning to corporate startup stars. And so I would, I would like to ask you to reveal, uh, to open your secret box and tell us what are the top three ingredients to, to become a star. Amy, you wanna start? Oh my goodness, uh, top three ingredients is a tough one, but let's give it a go. So I think, you know, the biggest thing that we've probably learned at MasterCard is it's a journey. Um, we have been doing this work for the past six years. We've worked with about 250 startups over the past six years. We've evolved based on our learnings and, and we know that it's very much a journey. I think the second thing is that it has to be win-win. And we've heard that from lots of the corporates this evening, um, that it has to be a win for the corporate, but it also has to be a win for the startup as well. There has to be equity in the relationship on both sides. Uh, and we've worked really hard to make sure that we think about the world in that way, applying MasterCard's decency quotient to how we enter into startup engagements. And then the third thing that I would say is that it's uh, it can't be side of desk activity. It has to be a whole organization um, approach. Uh, so we have a dedicated team, an amazing dedicated team within MasterCard that focuses on startup engagement. But we do it hand in hand with the entire organization and indeed a broad network outside of our organization as well. So those are my top three things. Thank you, Amy. Philip, what about you? Yeah, uh, I can fully agree to what Amy just said. Um, I'd like to add one thing that we see is indeed very important, and that is uh, top management commitment. You've heard Michael Bolle in the videos before. He's one of the members of the board of Bosch Management, and it goes all the way up to our CEO that the top management is really behind this idea of open innovation. And with this support, it helps a lot to get this kind of mindset change in such a large group as, as Bosch is. That's great, that's great. Uh, Steve, what about BP? What has been, uh, what you guys have done that uh, has proved uh, to be beer fruiting? Thanks, Alberto, and thank you so much for the recognition and the award, not just in this space, but also for the Launchpad Award as well. Um, for us at BP, I think uh, there are three things uh, against your uh, against your question. Um, the first thing uh, is that it's really important for us to have people working those relationships with our startups uh, pa partners that understand what that journey is. Uh, and Amy talked about the journey, but people who've been through some of that founder's journey and lived that, it's really important for us to have people who not only understand the corporate world but also have lived that journey and and so can reflect both sides of the uh, of the relationship um the second thing is uh, we think it's really really important to um to commit into the long term with the relationships that we have with startups uh, as an investor as a partner and as a collaborator um you know that builds trust over time and seeing through those commitments uh, over a number of years is really really important and then lastly, uh, a focus on teams. Um, I, in my experience is the world is full of amazing technological ideas, but the world-class teams that can come together and make those ideas into 
new global businesses are much rarer. And so, you know, focusing on building those teams and going through the entire leadership journey that that involves is, is also something that we focus on. That, that's phenomenal. And I think uh, just while listening to you and uh, watching you guys beyond be obviously uh, proud uh, and uh, for the work that you have done, I think one thing that I notice is uh, really still missing applauses and because it's something that again in this digital world is difficult to be to be replicated. So again, from for Marco and myself, uh, a big round of applause and uh, Looking forward to having you guys uh, continue the, the great job that you have done and uh, looking forward to, to meeting you again uh, next year for the Corporate Startups Art Award Ceremony. Thank you. Yeah, no, we feel very privileged to get this award. That's very kind of you. And we actually, we feel the responsibility to, to um, be a kind of a role model here for others. And you are the role model. So here is 11.45 in San Francisco, but we're still raising a glass in your honor. We all need a drink today, regardless of the time. So congratulations to the winners of the 2020 Corporate Startup Stars Awards. Uh, now, uh, a few more messages before we let you go. Uh, again, I think we've been reinforcing throughout the event that we want uh, this recognition and this award ceremony to be very global. We want to push the envelope of uh, open innovation becoming a high priority of all different industries across the world. And so we want to recognize the single winners of the different continents around the world. So now for Europe and US, I think we already kind of shared who the winners are because they also happen to be uh, the top three winners uh, of the category. But let's go with the other single continents. And next one is Asia. Move to Africa. Latin America. So congratulations to them all. Congratulations to all our corporate startup stars. But before going to the end of this uh, ceremony, there is uh, another award that we introduced last year. Because again, Open Innovation embraces all different sectors. And to actually embrace and involve, and this pandemic has actually put this topic uh, really, really on top of the agenda of all the countries, open innovation should also embrace public organization. And that's why we introduced, starting last year, an award uh, focused on public organization that are being particularly active and effective in uh, dealing with startups. And this year, the Public Sector Award for 2020 goes to... Great. So now, I think before closing, I think we want to, again, going back to one of the main uh, topic of this evening that is uh, celebrating diversity and celebrating uh, potentially to have an impact. And I'd like to, to call on stage again, Candace. Hi, yes, thank you so much. It's been such an amazing evening, a beautiful evening filled with entrepreneurship, filled with impact, filled with excellence and diversity. And I just want to share a little story, uh, very interestingly, uh, about, let me see, eight years ago, I decided that the Raspberry Pi that had been started by um, uh, uh, Arm, uh, Hammond Hauser and Jack Lang, that we needed to bring it to the Middle East and to the Arab world. And um, I asked uh, a friend, uh, I said, you know, could you please recommend to me somebody 
who could help me do this. And that person was Eliane Metny, who you will get to see right after this video. But as Alberto said, you know, if you're thinking you're going to the moon, you may just find a star. And what happened when we brought the Raspberry Pi and the program Youth to Youth that Elian developed to Lebanon, UNICEF took it and put it into the Syrian refugee camps in Lebanon. And here's a little video about that. The pedagogy of the program brought innovation to our non-formal education activity by bridging, bridging and bringing together unplugged activities and a device, so technology, together so that the child could learn by himself and be autonomous in his learning path. The child then develop critical thinking and creativity and is learning faster. This will allow them in the future for the child to be reintegrated in a formal education system and program and maybe have also more opportunity to develop as an adult, as a satisfied adult within the society. So really very, very exciting. And of course, you know, Elian didn't stop there. And it's very interesting that John talked about creating uh, the ICC hubs of entrepreneurship. And of course, when he said Lebanon, I said, look no further. We need to go and speak with Elian Metny, uh, International Education Association. She's doing incredibly things, incredibly great things. Elian, over to you. Uh, you, you have to unmute yourself. Thanks, Candice. <laughs> 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 well, thank you for inviting me to be part of the ceremony. It's an honor and it's a privilege to be able to, in a, in a very short moment, to say why this was so important. And I think the importance of this is that I'm, I never saw myself as an entrepreneur. I'm a nonprofit and as a nonprofit, you think about improving things improving the world and I think that's really the heart of what has helped us because we went from this beautiful project which was which had we designed an innovative pedagogy to a system approach and of course we used agile processes but what we really focused on were three things that made it successful it was quality sustainability and inclusivity by bringing this and making it accessible to all children by making it based on values that bring and improve the world around you and the well-being of people. And that's what people really like. It's improving learning, it's improving their lives, and it's going to be in all schools. And then you find yourself into this scalable, going everywhere program, and you say, it's not the, what I signed up for. <laughs> You've been an amazing mentor. And, uh, and, um, and I think that it that brings us to uh, as why this journey is successful. We've had wonderful mentors. We've had wonderful volunteers supporting the program. We wouldn't have been able to do it without them. What also our donors who were able to see and think out of the box. Because you usually think in terms of do donors in, in this field is more they're more restricted on just learning outcomes and when you see how this is changing lives the lives of people you need them to also be agile and innovative so innovation goes all the way and as well as policymakers if you don't have in a mindset for innovation it just gets blocked where it is and the innovation needs to be open as you say and um, I couldn't have done it without you, Candace. Yeah. Definitely. Well, so so, and to you know, everybody, uh, Elian, having gone from bringing programming and coding into um, Syrian refugee camps in Lebanon in the Arabic language, um, she has also now gone to do something called Coder Maker, 
which we're going to show a short video. And I do also just want to say that when Eliane talks about donors, actually she has been recognized by the Ford Foundation for her amazing work. So uh, now we can maybe show the uh, video on Coder Maker, please. On its own, technology has failed its promise to transform education and prepare youth for a fast-moving workplace. At Coda Maker, we're proud that our method was rated as the most impactful with evidence of deep learning. Students learn so much more than just coding, electronics, and robotics. Together, they identify and address real-life problems. They imagine, design solutions, and build prototypes which impact people and the world. It's truly transformational. A schoolgirl overcomes her visual impairment. School toilets are now safer for children. Agricultural practices are more efficient. Students apply their coding and making skills. They become problem solvers, perseverant, and entrepreneurs in their classrooms and communities. Join Codemaker, where university volunteers coach teachers and students to build the most successful community that empowers youth of today to become the game changers of tomorrow. Become a Codemaker. Great. So innovation is everywhere and you just have to seek and you shall find it. Thank you so much, Eliane. And now we will go back to uh, John Denton, to Marco Marinucci and to Alberto Onati for the grand finale. Over to you, gentlemen. It's a really, really inspiring story. And uh, I we are at the end of our celebration. Uh, by the way, time flies when we are having fun. So again, uh, it's been uh, great. And again, one of the reasons why we do these Corporate Startup -to Stars Awards is not just uh, to give away prizes, but is mostly to try to identify role models and learn from them. And that's the reason why we will be interviewing all of our Corporate Startup Stars in the incoming uh, week and actually months because there are quite a lot. And that is, will be the opportunity, mind the chat style, to, to learn from them and try to understand what are doing and what they're doing to be so effective. So, John. Thank you so much for having us as your partner for this amazing award. And as Ken just said, we also hear the stories behind the entrepreneurs, the innovators, the heal real people doing real things to make a real difference. And that's the wonderful thing about uh, all the participants today and the openness and the fresh air that you let through is so amazing. Can I just say it's a great pleasure to be working with you guys. Look forward to doing it next year. But on the way through, uh, we, we do want to keep focus on ensuring next year we're in Paris, but we want to have a little taster. At the end of this week on Thursday, Alberto will be uh, interviewing actor Lemoyne the former Secretary of State for Digital Economy and member of the board of ICC France right here in Paris. Until we meet again in Paris next year, thanks again for having us along. Well, we're really looking forward to it. And now we'll leave you with all the proper thank yous from uh, all the participants. But before we finish, let us actually thank our phenomenal team that uh, helped us put all this event together. In particular, Carmina Pellegrino, that is our tech director. You can only imagine what he had to endure to go through this. And Monia Ben Najima, our event manager. So thanks to everybody. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next year. We would like to thank the International Chamber of Commerce and Mind the Breach for this award and for supporting the growth of innovation around the world. Thank you. Congratulations, keep going for change. Thanks, Minder Bridge and ICC for your recognition. I think this is a great initiative because it puts the focus on what I believe will be even more apparent in the future, that silo of internal focus and thinking will be a thing of the past. It is an honor to be recognized one more year as a corporate star. This is a sign that we're in the right track moving forward. I'd like to thank the organizers Mind the Bridge for an absolutely incredible event and for their continued leadership in this really important business space. It is a huge recognition of SCAL's key culture and spirit of innovation. 
OCP is truly honored to be included uh, amongst the uh, visionary companies that help shape the future and are, that are truly engaged and committed in uh, uh, advancing open innovation around the world. I want to say thank you to Mind the Bridge and the ICC for putting this event together and showcasing all of these great examples of what good looks like in terms of open innovation so we can learn from each other. For uh, giving uh, this great opportunity to share knowledge, share insights uh, together with the peers in the industry. For ranking Hewlett Packard Enterprise among the world's top companies for the Corporate Startup Stars Award. For your support and genius that continues to drive our collective thinking forward on open innovation. For recognizing PCP Midstream as one of the leaders in open innovation. For its superb efforts in promoting uh, startup corporate collaboration. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the organizers, Mind the Bridge and ICC for this important recognition. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to be a part of this whole process and to be a part of this amazing community that you have built. Thank you. We are very happy and proud to receive this prestigious award. Thank you so much from Boha. As a Latin American company, we are very happy and proud to, of being here, and we hope to continue improving our relationship with the most important ecosystem of innovation and entrepreneurship in the world. It is an honor to be nominated as one of the leading role of open innovation. Thank you very much for the interest in our company and the opportunity to participate. It's been a great pleasure to join in. It's great to see that our work is of value for our industry and beyond. We're delighted to have this recognition and really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks to the organizers for letting us participate in, in this initiative. Thank you very much, guys. I love the work you do to foster CBC industry and how you connect and inspire us in this fascinating new sector. Uh, this is for us a perfect occasion to benchmark or compare our approach with uh, corporate market practices, uh, to meet relevant startups, and to be aware of uh, latest trends. So see you next year. A huge thank you from BP to Mind the Bridge and the ICC for the recognition. It means so much to the team. Thank you very much. My biggest thank you from the bottom of my heart goes to all the teams inside Bosch and the startups who have worked with us in order to make this happen. This is a team event and therefore a big thank you to the teams who have made this possible. It has been a truly enlightening experience and we're looking forward to put new ideas into motion. This has been a great journey together. Thanks all. Uh, I hope we will get a great evening and maybe uh, have a great award as well. Thank you.